Broadcasting from the Golden Spread of Texas, this is The Fred Hughes Show. With each episode, we introduce to you an inspiring person or message to help you grow and unlock your potential in life. I'm Fred Hughes, professional photographer, pastor, teacher, author, and your show host. Thank you for joining us and welcome to this episode brought to you by the Faithful Partners of Decision Ministry. Well, hello there. This is Fred Hughes, and this is another Thursday night edition of our um, Decision Ministries live streaming. And uh, we're just, we welcome you, uh, where, whatever platform you're looking at us from. We have, uh, we stream out to about four different platforms live. And uh, we just have a great time with all this. It's kind of fun to try to juggle all of those things and keep, keep, these things up and running so <laughs> we were talking uh earlier before the show tom and i pastor tom here is gonna is uh, uh pastor here in amarillo texas and uh, he's fixing to join us this afternoon before before we get started though, i want to do a little bit of housekeeping and that is that uh, we have a um, ministry line that's always available while we do these uh broadcasts and if you need somebody to pray with uh, there is just a, a tremendously talented team of people that uh, can talk to you in, in Spanish or English, either way, and uh, whatever you're more comfortable with. And they um, they they can lead you in whole to you know in, in getting born again or receiving the Holy Spirit or. Uh, just pray with you and agree with you over things that you need prayer about. Uh, they're they're wonderful people, and so eight oh six is the area code three three eight twenty nine twenty nine. Let me give you that one more time. Eight oh six area code three three eight. 2929. So you call that number if you need to. You can do that anytime and even on our rebroadcast and uh, whenever uh, after you know, this is over, you can utilize those folks. They, uh, I've got several of them and they just kind of take calls as they come through and, and they'll, they'll minister to you. They're really good. Um, like I said, Mr. Mr. Tom Malone is with me tonight, and so we're just a great, uh, he's a great guy, great man of God, and he's, his uh, lovely wife Karen has uh, fed him, and so he's not going to starve to death before the program's over. And <laughs> so we've, uh, we've been, he's another of these great men from uh, our group that meets over on uh, Tuesday mornings. And uh, we've mentioned and, and had several of those folks on, and it's just always a pleasure to to have uh, our friends from uh, from that group into our ministry time here. And so we're just excited about that. I would, um, if you happen to live in the area, uh, we are uh, Decision Ministries is going to have a, a a meeting locally here in Amarillo. Uh, that's going to be on March the 11th. Uh, at six o'clock, and it's going to be at um, Pray Amarillo, and that uh, information you can find that on our website or any of our social media places. Uh, so, uh, look that up, and if you're anywhere close, we'd just love to have you join us because uh, it's going to be an awesome time. Have Dr. Shane Han uh, is going to be our speaker for that evening. And Irene and I are going to minister, and, and uh, Dr. Shane and his wife, uh, Stacy, they're going to minister. And so it's just going to be a good time in the Lord. And, uh, and so if, if you're anywhere close to Amarillo area, we'll make, mark that down on your calendar, March the 11th. That's a Friday evening, and uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be great. So, Tom, how are you? Hey, I'm just doing great. I'm... Uh... Loving it. Hey, every day is a great day. It is. Uh, some some are greater than others, but hey, <laughs> all of them are good. Because hey, God, yeah. You know, he's just good. Well, today we have a snow day going on in Amarillo, but uh, it, it got a little got a little snow. I know I noticed they turned out quite a few things, but uh, it's not very deep snow. But uh, we do we we don't like people slipping and sliding around too bad, so it's it's good. So we're nice and cozy. <laughs> we're thankful. We're thankful for the snow, though. We've been needing something that was wet. We, 
For sure, we need and, and snow's good because it has lots of nitrogen in it, and that really does uh, that really does help get the spring going. So, so come on, snow, where well, we like it. Yeah, bring it on. Just can't, just can't be sideways snow. We get that around here a little bit with all the wind that we can have. <laughs> so, what are you going to share with us tonight, Mister Mister Malone? Well, I, I'd just like to talk about a little bit about the word every and about the word all. And about the word no. Amen. <laughs> wow. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to click my little ugly face off and let you just get after it and then holler anytime you want me to jump back in. All right. Well, I, I won't keep people a long time, but I want to encourage and, and hopefully the Holy Spirit will inspire people to uh, just grab a hold of the truth of God's word and just move forward, uh, continue to move forward because I believe. I believe everybody is hungry and moving forward and looking for uh, the greater um, manifestation of God's kingdom than we've had up to this point. And we're all playing a critical role in that. So I believe being convinced uh, by the spirit is important. So that's what I want to talk a little bit about tonight. You want me to just keep going? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, I'd, I'd like to I'd like to just talk about the word. Hello, everybody. It's uh, good to be back. I appreciate Fred invite me to share a little bit here. And him and Irene are great people. And uh, you know Matthew, the fourth chapter, and the fourth verse says that. And you know what? I don't even have to read it, but I'm going to. It says, "It is written, man shall not live by bread alone, uh, but by." every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. And I, I want you to think about the word every because some of us are a little selective. You know, when we go out to eat, well, some of us like this, some of us like that, but in the kingdom of God, God wants us to consume everything that he has. He wants us to be excited about everything he's doing and be convinced about everything that he is uh, uh, moving and, and having his way in. So we we live by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. And that goes along with, uh, you know, 2 Timothy 3.16 says, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable. Does everybody out there like profit? I like profit. Mine, I, it doesn't matter what it's in. I like to make, if it's money, I want to make some money. If whatever it is, I want to profit. I want to profit from relationships. I want to invest in people, and I want people to invest in me. And so I like profit. It's good. It says it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness. It says all Scripture is profitable. All Scripture is given by the inspiration. So all Scripture is for all of that. Doctrine, reproof, correction, instruction and righteousness. We need all of the scriptures for us to get the total benefit of what God wants for us individually and corporately as the family of God, as the church of the living God. We need all the scriptures. We need every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Uh, we don't need to be selective. You know, in the natural, we're pretty selective. Like I said earlier, uh, some of us like this, some of us like that in the natural. But when it comes to the kingdom of God, we know that God is good and that everything that God is doing is good and everything he has for us is good. And though it may not always seem like things are working out the way they should, but we know all things are working together for good. And so I want you to just take hold of uh, maybe in a fresh way of embracing everything about God, every word, every scripture, because God wants us to be involved in everything that he's involved in. Yes, we're a great body. We're all individuals. We're a part of this great family of God, and he's got a lot of things going, and he wants us to be a part of it. So I want you to get every into your spirit tonight, every word, every scripture, it's all for you, it's all for me, and it's going to benefit us. Hallelujah.
there's certain groups of the uh, family of God that eliminate part of the scriptures because they say it's not relevant anymore. Let me tell you what, everything that God has in the word is relevant and the Holy Spirit makes it relevant. Amen. So it's hard for us to agree with the Holy Spirit because mm -hmm. he's, he, he knows the inside out. Hallelujah. <laughs> and so in Matthew four, and then in, let me just give you the reference in Matthew seven and eight, it talks about uh, everyone that asketh. It says everyone that asketh, you know, so it's important to do some asking. You know what? You, you don't know something, ask about it. If you have a need, ask for it. If you need some direction, what you ask for it. Seven, eight says for everyone that asks, receives then it goes on to say that he that seeks finds and to him that knocks it shall be open but i want you to get every one you know there's a lot of people want you to do their work for them you know well will you ask god to give you a word for me hey and i'm all for that but we really need to have that type of relationship that everyone that asks receives and you can ask and receive he wants to speak to us he wants to, he wants to encourage us. He wants to talk to us. <laughs> Amen. He might even want to give you a dream or a vision, man. He can do it in so many multiple ways, but I think it's important that it's everyone. Everybody is included in this. God's Amen. not leaving anybody out of the action of what's going on. And we live in an exciting time. We live in a great day. I, I, I know that, uh, Things don't look too good out there, but I'm telling you what, God is on the move. And uh, we've been understanding and listening to the prophets and hearing from the Spirit ourselves. The big boys are biting the dust, and I hope you're keeping a record of them because there's a lot of principalities that are coming down. A lot of things <laughs> are moving behind the scenes. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, and, and so we're just, a, we're, we're part of it. He wants everyone to enjoy the victory that is being manifested in the kingdom of God right now. He wants you to see the benefit of your years of service and your faithfulness and all, because God's, he's come through for you in the past and he's coming through for you now. He's come through for this nation in the past and he's coming through for it now. We're, we're going up. We're not going down. You know, we're going through. We're not, we're not stopping. We're moving forward. Matthew 9, 35 says, let, let me read it to you. It's another one of these every, every things. It's these every scriptures. 9, 35 says, Jesus went about all the cities and villages teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. <laughs> that, that says every sickness every disease there's there's no exceptions to the word every every means every doesn't mean everything but this one or everything but that one it means that he heals every sickness amen every disease is subject to his name and the power of his presence hallelujah and so when we we are convinced and and and, and it doesn't matter how bad it looks it can change just like that in a moment's time as God just moves and changes the whole atmosphere, changes the whole situation. You've been in places where you've seen it's been just like that. God's moved and things that looked like they were falling apart all of a sudden came together. People that looked like they were on their out, way out turned it out that they were just getting recharged and refired, ready to roll again. Just uh, <laughs> Fred and I were talking about a friend of ours in the Philippines, Tony Poole. A number of years ago, we were in the hospital. I don't know, it's been 15, 20 years ago. They put him in a hospital here in Amarillo, and Doc came in and told him that he he, he had had a heart attack, and it just wasn't going to work any long, longer for him, and he was going to have to be careful about everything he did. He was just talking death over him. And the moment he left the hospital room, I was happy to be in there, and we both said, whose report are you going to believe? <laughs> believe the report of the Lord. And I tell you what, God touched, just touched Tony. And, and he's been going full blast for the last 15, 
20 years and uh, yes, he's still on the firing line. He's Amen. Still on the firing line. Amen. God's still using him because he heals every sickness and every disease. And until you find yourself waking up on the other side, you take a hold of that and you believe it. You receive it just for you and for everybody around you. I don't Amen. care what it looks like. You're going to lay hands on them. And he heals every sickness. And he heals every disease. We're going to speak it over them. Speak it to yourself and speak it over to people that God put you in uh, in, in their realm of, of existence. And you're going to bless them. I tell you, we haven't. I know it. It's cliche. It's cliche. We haven't seen anything yet. But I really believe we haven't seen anything yet. Hallelujah. So he heals. I want you to get it. Every sickness, no exception. Amen. Every disease, there's no exception. Amen. Okay, so get the every in your spirit. Mark 16, 15 says, preach the gospel to every creature. That means when you have an opportunity to share the good news, there's no exceptions to who we're to share it to. They're not too bad. They're not too ugly. They're not too mean. They're not too so far away from God that they can't receive. So, so if we have the opportunity, we preach to every creature. We share the good news because Amen. we are ministers of reconciliation. It says, Amen. There you go. And God is not holding their sins against them. I don't care how bad they look and how bad they are. He hasn't, he's not holding their sins against them just like he isn't us. And so we have the ability to receive and to give, hallelujah. And we've all received uh, everything that we need, everything that he has, he's given. He's not holding out, hallelujah. He, he's the every God. And what I mean is he's about everything, every good thing. He's not holding anything back. So here it says to preach to every creature. So you have an opportunity, you share the good news. You be bold because God's going to, show you how great he is how great great and mighty he is i'm I, i've seen it over the years and i'm still surprised at how god moves when you open your mouth and you step out and you declare the goodness in the word of god hallelujah luke 9 6 the scripture says healing everywhere he went about healing everywhere. There's no exception to places that God can heal. It says he healed everywhere. Let, let, let me just, I'll turn there. I want you to get this. There's no place that God cannot heal. There's not any environment that he can heal. You say, well, what about unbelief? I'm just telling you what the word says. I know unbelief is a messful, messy thing. But even in the places where he, uh, he talked about unbelief in the gospels, it said he just couldn't do a lot of things. So there were a few things he did do, but Luke 9, 6 simply says this. Well, let me get there. I got 10. Let me get to 9. 9, 6 says, And they departed and went through the towns preaching the gospel and healing everywhere. This is those that he sent out, you know. He sent you out. And you know what? Wherever you're at, God can heal. There's no exception. Everywhere has no exception. It's everywhere but here. No, no, no. It's everywhere. It's, uh, it's every sickness but this one. No, it's every sickness. It's every disease, but th this is a bad one. Man, it's terrible. Well, every has no exception. Get it in your spirit. There's no exception to what God can do. There's no exception to what he will do. All things are possible to him that believes, it says. And you're a believer. I'm a believer. Oh. So going about preaching the good news and then healing everywhere. Get that. Don't, don't wait. To, don't tell them to come to church and you'll pray for them. Heal them right there. They're at home, marketplace, walking down the street. Heal them where the need is. Meet them right there. Hallelujah. I think we've just allocated certain things for certain places, but I'm telling you what, this is every and everywhere. Mm -mm. Shambo. 
And then uh, uh, while we're there, let's go to Luke, the 11th chapter, verse 4. <laughs> it says, and this is the Lord's Prayer, you know. It says, forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone. See that? Every, he has forgiven everyone. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. And then, and then uh, when Peter and uh, Andrew saw Jesus coming to John the Baptist, John said, behold the lamb who takes away the sin of the world. So forgiveness is for everyone. He has forgiven us. And so we are to forgive everyone. Just sometimes that takes a lot of grace, but you know what? He's got a lot of grace. He's given us a lot of grace. So we for also we forgive everyone that is indebted to us or sinned against us. I tell you that keeps the that 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 keeps the peace of God, the joy of the Lord, keeps the presence of God just uh, all around you, enjoying it. I tell you what, you need to forgive if you haven't forgiven. Forgive people. I don't say you have to live with them. I just said forgive them, you know. But we forgive people. We don't hold anything against them because forgiveness is a blockage. Forgiveness causes us not to be able to embrace the everything that God wants embraced, the everything that he wants to do. No hindrances for us. Hallelujah. Now, so get that every everything in your spirit. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to shift over to all in one minute, but I want to read a scripture out of the Amplified for you that just thrills me to pieces. Uh, it's Ephesians, the first chapter. And uh, I love reading this just to encourage myself. And uh, because it's a uh, part of that, all the scripture is given by inspiration. You know, it's good for you. Ephesians, the first chapter, and as I said, I'm going to read this out of the Amplified, and uh, I believe you'll enjoy it. Oh, it's uh, all of, you know, all of Ephesians is good, and it's all great, but I, I'm just going to hone in on the Ephesians, the first chapter, and uh, oh, my Lord, you can start anywhere, but I'm, I'm going to jump down to 22 and 23, and it says, he... God has put all things under Jesus' feet and has appointed Jesus the universal and supreme head of the church, a headship exercised throughout the church, which is his body. The church is his body. The fullness of him who feels all in all for in that body, in the church, lives the full measure. I, I, I like that word too, don't you? Full. It's not just a partial measure. You know, God's, you know, when I got saved, I didn't just get half saved. I got totally saved. Now I may not under, have understood it at the time, but I, we're growing in our understanding of this great salvation and, and, and the great work that he's done in us. But I didn't get half saved. You didn't get half saved. I tell you what, God's not just half filling the church with just enough power to get through the situations we're in. He's a superfluous God. He has more than enough. He has an abundance. He wants us to have life and have it what more abundantly. He's not holding out on anything. And but for in that body, in the church, lives the full measure of Him who makes everything. There's that word every, every what? Everything complete. He makes everything complete. Anything concerning you and me, he has made it complete. Hallelujah. That's what I like about he heals every disease, every sickness. He doesn't just halfway do anything. Sometimes I think I stop halfway through something and just call I feel so good instead of finishing up something, but God never stops halfway. He's always completing everything. He, he makes everything complete. And who 
feels everything, everywhere with himself. Whew, isn't that good? He he make he feels every everything everywhere with himself. It's all about Jesus. We know that. <laughs> The only way to know the everything of God is to know Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Holy Spirit that he's put in you so that you'll know everything. Uh, he, he, he's, he's the teacher. He's the guide. He, he wants you to know everything. That's why <laughs> if you have a question, won't you just ask? And everyone ask. Hallelujah. See, find. So he feels everything everywhere with himself. And I tell you what, when, when everything's filled with himself, there's nothing that is uh, out of whack. There's nothing out of order. It's all good. Yes, and he's using you and I for the church. That's us. That's you. That's me. That's Fred. That's Irene. That's Karen. That's me. That's everybody we know that loves the name of the Lord and loves the Lord. He's filling the whole earth with his glory. Hallelujah. Amen. That it or not, but he is everywhere. <laughs> <clears throat> there is 24 7 yeah. praise going on in the earth. Yeah. 24 7. There isn't anywhere at any time in the world that praise isn't going. Now, I might be sleeping over here and you might be sleeping where you're at, but I'm telling you what, there's people over the earth that are praising the Lord sharing the good news, praying for the sick. I'm telling you, the earth really is full of the glory of God, if you're asking. Amen. Me. Amen. So the body of Christ is in every nation and, and is reaching every body. Oh, there it is again. Every nation. Everybody. Oh, every just gets all over you. It's every. <laughs> Eat up the everything of God. Amen. Child Amen. And then, uh, so that I'm going to stop on every right there, but you, you do your own search on every, there's a lot more every's in here, but that'll just yeah. whip your appetite a little bit because I want to move on to the, the all it's, it's all about all too. Amen. And what does all mean? Someone I heard a preacher one time said, you know what the Greek word is? <clears throat> and it means all, that means there's nothing left out. There's nothing to add to it. You mean if you got it all, you got it all. And so here it is, and going back to Luke. Scriptures you know well. I know you, you students of the word, you know it, you know, and you know where I'm going. Luke, the ninth chapter. I, I want to read this to you because it's so important that we re stir up our pure minds of remembrance and that we feast on these things and remind ourselves of these things because there's a lot of voices out there that want to distract us and get you off track. But the word keeps us. It's, it's, it's for us. Jesus said in the ninth chapter of Luke verse one, he called his 12 disciples together and gave them power and authority over all. Say it. That, not say it. Say it. Let's say it all. <laughs> Oh. He gave them power and authority, power over all devils, authority over all devils and to cure diseases. Now, did he really say all? Oh. Yeah, he said all. So there's no exception to the word all. There isn't any devil that is in exception to the word of all when he says, I've given you the authority and power, they don't come too big. They don't come too bad. They don't come too ugly. I don't care if it's a principality, if it's a spiritual wickedness in high places or some darkness or some little minion of the, the these little scrawny little demons that run around that want to harass you. You know, it doesn't matter which one it is. It's all. He's given you power and authority over all the devils. None, no exception. So when they when when they act like you don't know anything, well, you know, you just tell them what you have heard from the good news giver. 
that you go back to where you belong. Mm -hmm. And it's all. Now, I realize that uh, sometimes it takes a little longer to deal with some big boys than some of these little boys. I mean, even in the natural. When I was growing up, there were, there were some kids I could handle, you know, but there's some kids I couldn't handle. And you know what? I always had a big friend. <laughs> and if I got in over my head, I always called my big friend. Well, I found out that in the kingdom of God that I can't handle any of it. I need my big friend all the time. And he's filled us with his spirit, Jesus. Remember in Ephesians, it said it's all about him. He feels everything with himself. None of this is about us. It's about him. This every is all about him. This all is all about him. And so he gives us power over all the devils. Doesn't matter what size, how ugly, what their name is. It doesn't matter. They're coming down. They're leaving. They're casting out. I don't care what the name of the spirit is. We have authority over it. Amen. We're convinced of it. it. It isn't that the devil needs convinced. He believes we're the ones that need to be convinced that we're moving in the authority and the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. We're the ones that have to come to know. Amen. And as we know it, then we're not moved. We're not shaken. We stand in the gap. We make up the hedge. We move the mountain. We fill mm -hmm. the gap, whatever it is. We're capable of doing that because, because he's everything and we're in the everything. <laughs> Shabbat. Hallelujah. Hey. Amen. And so, and so here we are. He's given us the power over all the devils. Now, going to, to Luke 10 since we're there. Go look at look at Luke 10 since since we're there. Luke uh, 10th chapter, verse 19. And I, I want I want to read that to you too, because uh, I need convincing. I need encouraging. We all need to be convinced uh, more than what we are. We're moving into a new day and a new dispensation of, of the glory of God. We're moving into that next dimension. And to be that next dimension, we're going to have to be convinced of some things that maybe we weren't convinced of in the past. Right. Maybe we thought there were some exceptions, but there's no exceptions when it comes to us in the kingdom of darkness. He's been defeated. I know who has the keys of hell and death, don't you? That's right. Now, 10, 19 says this. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over, oh, here's that word again, all. Maybe we should underline these words. All the power of the enemy. And nothing shall, any, nothing shall by any means hurt you. Now, uh, we're going to move in from all to no here in just a minute. But I want you to see this thing is that and no thing shall by any means hurt you. It's we say nothing, but I want you to break down nothing into no thing when you see it next time. No thing is gonna hurt you. None. No. I've got another scripture for no here in a minute, and we'll get there. But uh it's an all power. He has given us all. He has given us power over all the power. There is no exception. Come, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drill that into you and me tonight. There is no exception to what God says when he says, I've given you all power. When it comes to the kingdom of darkness, the kingdom of darkness is defeated, and we're here doing up the mop up. We're here to exercise our faith and to grow in our character of Christ in our lives and to, to drive the enemy out so that we can possess the land. He's had people's lives long enough. We're here to wreak some havoc Amen. in the kingdom of darkness. We're the church. We're believers. Gates of hell doesn't prevail against us. That doesn't mean hell's attacking us. It means we're attacking hell. And when, you've got, when you're the big boy in town, you need to go take care of things that's been out of order. And I'm telling you what, in Christ Jesus, the church is the big boy in town. We're the ones with the authority. 
If we're going to rule and reign in Christ now, then let's get it on. <laughs> let's get into the everything and the all of God. And let's start walking this thing out like we've never walked it out before and not be fearful of anything. But let, let me go on here. You know this one too, Acts 10, 38, but I'm going to read it to you because we're going to get these things in our spirit to the point that the, when, when, when the contrary winds blow, we're just going to blow them the other way. There you go. <laughs> it, it ain't nothing contrary in the kingdom of heaven. i tell you what, if, if they think they want to come and, and try us out, well, they're going to find that uh, that we've been convinced of some things that maybe we weren't convinced of before. Yeah, yeah. In understanding and in the knowledge of the word of God and of the power of his spirit and who he is in us and who we are in him. I love it. Acts 10, 38. Let's look at this. It says, 10, 38. Well, if I just get to the 10th chapter, we'd be all right. 10.38 simply says this, and you know it. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing, there's that word again, all. <laughs> it says all. Doesn't it say all? We, we, we don't make this up. This is what it says. I've read this for years, you know, and, and, and not convinced I said, yeah, God can do anything. <laughs> God can do anything. We all believe that. God can do anything. Well, now he wants you to know that you can do anything in him when it comes to Amen. the kingdom of darkness. You can do anything because you have power over all of it. That's right. No exceptions. No exceptions. All power. All power. Here it is. 1038 says, 10, says, went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. Mm -hmm. Jesus, you know, he himself said, I can of my own self do nothing. Only yeah. do what my father tells me and shows me. <laughs> well, we're in the, we're just like him. We can't of ourselves do nothing, but with him, we can do everything that needs to be done. If there's a problem from the, dark side, we can take care of it because we're yeah. with him. He's with us. We're in him. He's working through us. Oh, this, this is good. I, I'm going to have a chance in a minute. <laughs> For God was with him. Well, he's with us. Amen. He's Amen. Everywhere with himself. <laughs> and there, there there's, a, there's the alls. Now, I'm going to go to the no. You go from now on when you read the word all, you see what it's talking about and, and be convinced about the all of what God is saying. All scripture is given by inspiration. After every word has power. Don't believe in the in, buying the end of these groups that say, well, that was for then and then it's not for now. Well, that's a lie from the pit of hell. Amen. They're in ignorance. They were taught wrong. Amen. The word of God is for now. Hallelujah. God hasn't diminished in power. In fact, now he, where, where he was limited in Christ, now the church isn't limited. We're all over the world. Right. He wants us to awaken to the everything of God, the all of God, and even to the no of God. Amen. Here we are. Now I'm, I'm just going to give you a couple of no's and I'm going to let you go. <laughs> I, I know you know this scripture, but I'm on Isaiah 54, 17. I want you to see what it is. I want to read it to you again. And maybe by the Holy Spirit, it just, it just lights you up. It's just one of those that just jumps off the pages again at you. But Isaiah 54, 17. Mm, here it is. Because we know we're going to have some opposition. Man. We're in the world, we're not of the world, but we're going to have opposition. It's a, the trying mm -hmm. of our faith. The nature of faith is to be tried. So we're going to be tried. But when we're convinced of the everything and the all of God, Amen. then we 
remember faith is just a promotion to the next level of demonstration of the kingdom of God, the manifestation of it. <laughs> All the enemy is helping us to do is get promoted. You know, if he, he comes against you, it's a promotion because you're going to take care of the situation and grow. Grow into another place. Grow in greater confidence. Grow in greater peace. None of these things move you, as Paul would say. 54, 17 says, no weapon. Is there any exception to the word no? It says no weapon. So is there's no exception here. There's not a weapon that will work. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. It didn't say it wasn't formed. It said it's just not going to have its desired effect. Yeah, we're in this world. And in this world, we're going to have some situations. Yeah. And we, we are in a wrestling match. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. <laughs> That's good because I'm afraid a lot of flesh and blood could just take me off the line real quick. <laughs> but in the spirit, ain't no devil in hell that can take you or me either one offline. That's right. We're not Amen. wrestling in our own strength. And so here we are. We're going to have opposition. We're going to have weapons. Things are going to rise up. And yeah, the devil's going to use his minions. Amen. There's people out there that speak for the devil, just like there's people like us that speak for God, speak the word of the Lord. We're going to have opposition, but it says no weapon formed against you is going to prosper. So when something happens, you say, man, in the natural, this doesn't look too good. But I'm going to have some insight and information yeah. that this is not going to prosper against me. It's not going to prosper against my family. It's not going to prosper against the body over here. It's not going to prosper against you. Because no mm -hmm. weapon against you shall prosper. No. I'm getting that no in my spirit. <laughs> then it says, and every, go ahead, go out here. Go away, cat. I've got a cat here that wants to help. Come on. Here. It's a nice cat, but it's. Wow. My cat is my wife's cat. Don't tell me that. It says, every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment, you shall condemn. Yeah, yeah. You hadn't had anything bad said about you. Well, you hadn't been around long enough yet. <laughs> uh, if you hadn't had some tongues to wag about you or tell some things that are not true, you hadn't been around. Amen. Long enough. Amen. You know, when you're out there, you're going to have people that don't like you and that's going to say things that are untrue about you and lie about you. And oh, maybe I shouldn't say this, but I hope none of our brothers believe that stuff. You know, our brothers, we believe what is good about one another. Amen. Body of Christ, that's not always, well, I, I'll stay away from that. Shabbat. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every, how many tongues? Every. No exception. Every tongue that comes against you, it comes against you because of your walk and your commitment and your moving with the Holy Spirit of God, Everything, every tongue that comes against you and, and and shall rise against you in judgment, you're going to condemn. Hallelujah. Now, however Amen. God wants to do that, he can do it. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm just telling you, I want you to be convinced that there isn't any tongue that can rise up and put down and stop what God is going and doing in your life. So don't submit to it. Don't give to into it. You stand against it in Jesus' name because you're the one that's going to bring the condemnation into that. People are going to continue. And it goes on and it says, this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness of me, is of me, says the Lord. That, that's why it's all, that's not about us. It's all about him. You know, he leads us in paths of righteousness for his name's sake, for him. Mm, it's all about him. So there you go, no weapon, Going to pro no exceptions, no exceptions to no, no exceptions to every. 
you're moving in that type of grace and power, I'm telling you. Let me give you just a something else here right quick. Oh, Matthew 17, 20. And I'll, uh, I'll probably close with that. Matthew 17, 20. Let me get back to Matthew. Hallelujah. And, and you know this one too. I haven't given you a scripture tonight that you're not well acquainted with. I just hope I'm stirring you up to some new insight into it. Amen. Your mind of remembrance there, but Matthew 17, 20. Listen, listen at this. And Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible with you. Now, see, there's a, a nothing there. Now, what did I say? We're going to break that down. No thing shall be impossible with you and all. And so if there's no thing that is impossible, that means no thing. There's no exception to no thing. Hallelujah. And so uh, 1720 right here. No thing shall be impossible unto you or with you. I'm telling you what. This is something to be excited about. Yeah. Is everything still looking good on your end, Fred? My, yes, sir. My okay, that's good because I'm, I'm not. I'm, I just want to make sure I'm still coming through clear. I've got a notice here that I need to probably plug in pretty soon. But I just want to say to everybody that... Uh, Remember every, all, and no. There's no exception to every, no exception to all of God. There's no exception to the no of God. Amen. You move, first, you move forward. You take the ground that God's given you to take. And uh, you see the kingdom manifested where you're at because that is as exactly the plan that God has for you and those that are around about you. I speak grace and power and peace over you in the name of Jesus. And it's been a joy to just come in and be able to share with you tonight. I appreciate once again, Fred asking me and uh, I speak blessings over him and this ministry and the increase for this year that God has planned for decision ministries. Hallelujah. And Amen. I just want to thank Fred for allowing me to share. I'm going to turn it back to you. We're thrilled, man. I'll tell you what, that was a great word. I, you know, I want to, I want to just stop right here though and kind of remind you of that number that I gave out 806 338 2929. And I want to, I want to just kind of double up on uh, what Tom is being, has been saying. And I want you to know that salvation is for all people mm. for all times. Yeah. For all sin, for all sickness, for all poverty, for all for all that you need, we just tell you that he he's a he's a God of all, and and uh, there is just nothing that uh, that he's short on, and so if 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 you don't know this just Jesus we've been talking about. If you don't know this one who has all that he can give to you, then tonight I'd encourage you to call that number, 806-338-2929, and, and let somebody pray with you. Um, if, if, you've, if you have some sickness and disease in your body, if you need some uh, just uh, attention as far as somebody to pray with you, somebody to lock in, that, that telephone number adds in a third dimension to this broadcast. Uh, me and Tom are two dimensional here, and you see these little talking heads on the on 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 the uh, screen. But um, you have access to a very powerful group of people that can pray with you, want to, would would love to pray with you, and and agree with you, whatever needs you have. Let me just let me just kind of uh, finish that because. Uh, Jesus is it's, it's it's all about Jesus's righteousness. And, and we have all of Jesus in our life whenever we receive Jesus as Lord and Savior. And he continuously comes and fills and equips us to be even more. 
And I don't know how you can have all and then have more, but Jesus can pull that off somehow. And so we're just uh, thankful and grateful for all that uh, has <laughs> that, that's going on there. So it's uh, it's one of those things that um, I just want to get back to his message tonight because honestly, uh, no thing is withheld from you, nothing at all. No thing is withheld from you. God wants you to have it all, and he will never say no to you. And so I just, I just want to encourage you. Tom, I want you to pray for uh, the folks and, uh, and, and finish up with anything that you might want to tag in here at the end. But, man, we so appreciate your word tonight. It was awesome. And uh, we, just, we just thank you so much. Also, tell everybody kind of how they can get a hold of you, what's what, what, what the name of your church, and kind of how they could maybe contact you and get a hold of you. Yes, we, uh, we pastor, uh, Karen and I pastor Gateway Church on the north side of Amarillo. It's at the San Francis exit on the Dumas Highway on, on 87 North. And uh, we just have a, a great uh, group of people. We, uh, uh, we all love the Lord and we're just for people. We're for God and we're for people. And be glad to have you anytime. Uh, my number is 806-679-8156. Would be uh, love to hear from you, talk to you pray with you. Uh, be glad to have you to come to our services anytime, Sunday at 10 o'clock, Sunday mornings 10, and Wednesday at 6.30, we have Bible study. But uh, the important thing is, is that you just, uh, you connect with God, you connect with the Lord and the Holy Spirit, and wherever you're at, and, and whoever you're connected with, that you just uh, flow with God, flow with the Spirit, and do what He says to do. And yes. uh, and he's just, he's for you. He's not against you. Hallelujah. He's Amen. not here to disqualify. In fact, he has qualified every one of us. And so, <laughs> Father, I just thank you tonight for the opportunity to share and encourage from your word and flow with your spirit. And I just uh, speak that revelation and that inspiration and uh, Lord, that encouragement that anyone and everyone out there that might need to hear tonight, whoever hears this word, Lord, that it might spark a greater uh, ex expansion of faith and kingdom yeah. uh, manifestation in their lives, Father, because that's what it's all about. It's about us filling the earth with your glory in the part of the earth that we're in, Father. And so I just ask your blessings upon each one, Lord, and uh, thank you for your uh, salvation. Thank you for the infilling of the Holy Spirit. And I thank you for the gifts that you have given all of us to just advance the calls and the of Christ and the kingdom of God. And we just ask it and thank you for it, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thanks again, Tom. We appreciate you so much. And uh, we're just uh, looking forward to have you back on here again. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to twist your wife's arm because she's a good preacher of the gospel as well. Uh, oh, so anyway, we, 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 we just, we just uh, love both of you guys and, uh, I'll tell you what, it's, uh, we're blessed to have good friends in the Lord. We're oh, blessed yeah. that we can stir each other up and, 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 and encourage one another as so much the more as we see the day approaching. And if you can't see that the, the dark is getting darker and light is getting lighter, lighter <laughs> then you must be blind or something. Because, yeah, you uh, get out of your uh, bubble or something. <laughs> <laughs> you have to, have to pray for you that your eyes will be open. But uh, yeah. Anyway, it's a, we are approaching those days where where God is is moving, but I don't think we're quite there yet because I think there's a great move of God that's fixing to happen. I really do believe that third great awaiting, awakening oh, is absolutely. not coming, but it's already here. I really believe that. Yeah. And so I just encourage everyone to really be uh, mindful of what God says and and just well up boldness in your life. There's never been a better time for you to rise up and be bold. Um, there, like I said, black is dark is getting darker and light is getting lighter, and there's not going to be much middle gray in there. So you might as well just choose what side choose you this day, either death or life. Blessing or cursing, 
figure out what side you're on and rise up and get and get busy with it. And uh, so I just encourage you maybe even to start by uh, start getting a little bit um, on, on your knees and getting a lot in the word. And uh, so anyway, let's just get it all. everything everything that god has for you and he's never ever ever gonna say no he's not he's just not tom again thank you we'll uh next week we have i have um a guest coming on to um is is mr o'donnell he's been on our program several times and he is uh he is just a, a house of fire so you're gonna uh enjoy uh having having him in here so he'll have a great word i'm sure so anyway tom once again we'll see you later bye bye to everybody out there god bless you and and um, amen amen if you enjoyed the show today be sure and get the download and the uh show notes that we have available for you if you agree that this is place to be invite your friends use those little buttons to uh connect us to your facebook friends and others and if you have not subscribed do it today check out our free downloads this is the fred hughes show signing off